Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody sent me this file, and I don't completely understand. I understand what he's trying to do, but I don't understand what these he calls them rivets. But it's a knife handle, and I think they're just. I don't. I think he's just. I don't. I don't know how they could be rivets because they're too small and too close together. But evidently, what he did, he stretched them out so as the rivets are supposed to be 0 0.03. And this one's like 0 0.031 by 0 0.0297, and he wants them perfect. He wanted to know if there was a way you could just grab them all and change the size. But I don't know of any way. If, and that's one thing I like about YouTube. If one of you all, somebody else figures it out, let me know. But what I'm going to do is select all these rivets. And I'm going to move them out of the way. I missed some. But I can still nudge them the same spot. I haven't lost them. And this is a container, so I'm going to smart fill it. And then I'm going to nudge it over to the left. I'm going to left click, right click in black purposely. I'm going to go to, and this is a long about way, but it's kind of fun. It might save you some steps. Uh, go to effects and contour. We're going to contour to the inside 0 0.03 in red. And then go up to range and break contour apart. And this is what's neat about the nudge factor. We're going to be able to put that guy right back. But I'm going to nudge it over here for a second. I've drawn a, a circle or ellipse that is round and is 0 0.03. I'm going to control D and make a duplicate. I'm going to select them both. I'm going to open my blend docker. And I'm going to make, I counted, there's 35 of those things, so I need 33. I'm going to hit apply. I'm going to go right here to blend a new path. And I'm going to select right here, blend along full path. Now we could go up to a range and we well, you know what we might be able to grab just the red and take it out. Nope. So I'm going to select it all. I'm going to go up to a range and break blend apart and then click on it again and probably ungroup it. Nope. It's saying I can get rid of the red. Yep, I did. Now I'm going to group this guy, control G. And remember that we use the nudge distance, and I'm going to nudge it right back. That would be one way to do it. It's actually kind of neat how it contoured around. Uh, let's see what it looks like compared to the other one. I'll tell you what I'll make. It's a little bit different, but I don't know how precise this thing needs to be. Uh, I'm going to make mine in red, then nudge it back up there, and they're pretty close. Um, you could actually, let's nudge it over, see how this is kind of insporadic? Well, mine are the same insporadic, and it might even work out better. I do not know how the gentleman put that in there, but that would be one way to change and by the, you know, really by the time, and really it's, I think it's kind of better. I noticed on these, some of these are pretty close to the edge. Using the contour tool, you would be the same distance off the edge. Uh, this might, you might have to take this thing out of the picture and then put it back. It might even contour the, the rivets a little bit up in there. And I'm not going to make another one to do that just because, and you would take this and make rivets and then delete rivets, I guess. Uh, once you, Anytime you blend something, you've got to break the blend apart to do anything with it. Anyway, I hope that helped him a little bit. And thank you for watching. And I was going to say one thing. It, if he doesn't want to do that, there's really no way that you could change it. Make sure your ratio is locked. And go point point zero three. 
Well, you'd have to unlock it. You'd have to do both, 0 0.03, to do both sizes. And if you're not going to cut these out, if they're not real rivets and they're just marking, I don't know that too many people would even notice that they're not round. Anyway, hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.